Hey guys, today I'm going to show you two easy ways to ground yourself. The first one is going to be without an anti-static wrist strap. The next one is going to be with. So all you really need to do here is install your PSU onto your case and then plug it into a good working wall outlet. Once it's plugged in, oh and make sure it's turned off. Now your case is grounded and you can go ahead and touch the metal part of your case or if, if you don't know which part is metal or if it's mostly made of plastic, you can just go ahead and touch your PSU or the metal part, part of your PSU once every few minutes. And then you can go ahead and just do what you need to. You can go ahead and set up everything, put your motherboard in and whatnot. And then to do it with an anti-static wrist strap, just go ahead and put this in somewhere. Or I'll just put it in on the side of a screw. And there you go. Now I'm grounded. Now, you actually really don't need an anti-static wrist strap because what I showed you before is sufficient enough for most people. So, if you want an anti-static wrist strap to be really on the safe side, uh, because I, if you have carpet flooring like me, you might want to get it for the first time, but really it's not that big of a deal. Trust me, guys. It's After you build for the first time, it's really not a big deal. You don't have to worry about anything. Uh, I used to be concerned about short-circuiting my motherboard or something like that, but don't worry, nothing like that's going to happen. You actually have to try and put an effort to short-circuit something. But yeah, I hope this video helps you out. I'll have a playlist somewhere along the video here where you can click on it. It's a PC for beginners. It's simple stuff that's explained, things to know before you build your PC. And yeah... I hope this video helps you out. You know, please leave a like if it does. And as always, thanks for watching.